okay so what does that mean exactly if i see this part okay if i see completion letter over here just a second okay so if i say this you can see a name over here karan hitesh and same no uh, same name is name is over here okay so within a single click i can generate tons of data okay this can be called as automation so i don't need to work manually for like 30 to 35 minutes for a single person okay for that for that process we can just automate everything what I, what you can do is okay so after that you need to convert this word file to pdf as in you just uh, don't need to send word file to the students right as we don't need to change any of the stuff uh, into it so you might know that you are having online word to pdf converter but still if you are having the capability to automate the thing then why you should like, just uh, rely on internet things okay so if you are having word to pdf converter automation then definitely you can work over here so if i am running this file also and open opening okay completion letters okay so i do not have any limitation to select the files if i want to select a single file i can select a single okay if i want to drag and drop every file like control a i am creating every file okay for now we'll just create for two of them okay uh, three of them and opening it now you can just check over here okay it's showing me real time okay 100% 0% whatever and the time over here, like how many time did it take to generate word to pdf okay usually if you are dealing with online platforms it what it does is get your data and store it uh, store your data with them okay if you are a cyber security expert you will definitely not store any data on the internet right so in that case you can automate your own stuff and work for you as well right so if i see that in the completion letter i can see over your pdf file okay pdf file is generated as i told for three students exactly one two and three so here stage is done me so these three files are generated in the form of pdf so can you just understand how the ai works for us you don't need to work for ai ai will definitely work for you so this can be called as ai okay yeah so for now uh i'll explain more about deep into ai i'll just show one thing okay so at the end what i can discuss is what is the future of data analytics and ai there are six trends to watch as the world becomes increasingly data driven okay so we'll discuss about the one of that so one of the most exciting developments in generative ai which has the potential to transform industries by generating diverse media types what does that exactly means like assisting in strategy creation okay prediction modeling as we discussed uh, uh, discussed earlier about the prediction stock prediction and all or else you can see as product development as in in product development a new ai has been developed which is davian ai ai as you might heard about it like it's an world's first software engineer ai who can handle everything okay if you are giving a piece of code to him he will definitely identify it and code for you you just need to wait and watch what he does okay after that another another key trend is like argumental analytics argumented analytics okay which automates data processing task using ai and machine learning concepts what does it what uh, like what does that ex uh, exactly means that makes analytics more accessible and efficient for both expert and non expert if you are expert in uh, analysis uh, analysis of data 
so you can identify the trends but who is not expert in data so it can definitely come under augmented analytics so uh, enabling like better understanding of uh, user experience and prediction and product opt optimization okay which can come under nlp so do you know about anything about related to nlp well if you don't know it's totally fine it's natural language processing which is also making waves <clears throat> sorry which is also making waves like <coughs> customer sentiment analysis and communication by processing human language so as in you can just observe chat gpt if you are uh, if you are typing anything for chat gpt like you are giving a random prompt to chat gpt okay when you are giving prompt you might find some uh, typo errors like while typing you might uh, like type any other word but still at the end chat gpt recognize it and give you the output how does that means this is the natural language processing if your typo is wrong definitely it can identify the language what you are trying to say okay as in if you are trying to like uh, use a word something like invitation in that invitation if you are like i n d i t a t i o n this is your like uh, what i can say is this is your word okay but while typing you are doing something mistake invitations in uh, you are typing something like n i v i t i o n something like that but at the end chat gpt recognize it and give you the desired output so this can be this comes under the prompt engineer okay so this is the part of the ai only but still this is called as nlp which is natural language processing okay so well the rise of data mess in another trend to watch it can be decentralization of data ownership and the creation of domain oriented data products so what does that finally comes the proliferation of smart devices okay the smart devices and sensors has to lead a deal up of continuous streaming data what does that mean like as i discussed about earlier like real time data you need to analyze the real time data how do you do that so definitely you can work on sql server or whatever server your company is providing to you so real time stream analytics can be a good decision or a decision making across various sectors okay so this can be done in the part of ai so yeah this was our session for data analysis in ai so just let me know if you have any doubts related to data analysis so let's start with question and answers and this check out Do you have any courses for learning data analysis? Do you recommend any courses? Well, definitely, if you need to recommend, Core Clause can help you achieve your data analysis process. Okay, they have a particular data analysis course which can help definitely help you for it. Uh, are there any other websites like Kaggle to get data sets? Yeah, there are other websites also, but. If you are preferring uh, preferring a legit data set, you can definitely go to Kaggle. It's providing a legit data set and obviously a useful data set which can be handled into your way. Like you need to transform your data, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So do you have any more? So we need to perfect an excellent power if you want to. Uh, yeah. If you 
what I can say is just a second. To become a certified data analyst, you need to Okay, so to become a certified data analyst, there is a roadmap for data analyst. Okay, as I discussed earlier, Excel, SQL, Python, and Power BI. It's alternative. It's rather than using Power BI or else Tableau. It's up to you. As I am preferring for Power BI because it's user friendly and it's easy to start and easy to learn. Okay, because it does not have any complicated like uh, functions into it. So, are there any other platforms that offer free data analysis course? Definitely, it's it's on uh, it's available on YouTube. As you can search, it's plenty of data available over there. Okay, can you give brief of today's session? What exactly do you need? Exactly what brief explanation do you need? Can you just justify it? Sir, can we get certificate? Yeah, definitely you are getting the certificates. Uh, well, minimum time to start in career in data analytics from zero. So what you can do is, just create a roadmap for three months. Okay. You can just achieve your career in data analytics within three months. It's just in 90 to 95 days. That's all. As I can say is you will just found that, uh, every stuff on Kaggle. Okay. If you are starting from zero and you need a data set to work on, you definitely uh, search for Kaggle. You will find every, whatever your data is. Okay. And you can analysis your pattern and create like uh, best projects and achieve your goal. Like I can say is if you are uh, creating a roadmap for 90 days, you should definitely work on at least five projects, which will be your hands on. Okay. How to work with Kaggle. Kaggle is nothing but to get the data set from there. If you are working into data analytics field and or else, okay, it's not only for data analysis, but it's also for AI. Okay. If you need data set for or AI models, so you can definitely Kaggle there. You can find tons of data. Okay. So it's nothing but a platform where you can get the data sets, models and all. So you can definitely work on that and how to work on Kaggle. It's like nothing. Just go surf over there, whatever, whatever your data is, you can just grab download or just import it. Okay. How data analytics helps for web developers? Well, this is a good question. If data analytics helps for web developer, if web developer is creating dashboards, okay. If web developer is creating dashboard, instead of that, if I, if I am monitoring all data, whatever Excel file is having, I'm monitoring every data which is stored into Excel file or SQL file. Okay. That can be monitored within some, some, uh, like in web development, you need to create every function. Like you need to create admin panel. Then you need to give access to admin panel, whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what web developers do, but at the end you just need to, uh, like identify trends, then create according to that. Right. So in this, whatever I can do is in power BI, I can just drag and drop, drag and drop. Okay. In drag and drop, what I can do is just add the data set add whatever data I want to like monitor. That's all. I don't need to code. It's a ba basic function only. So web developers need to code for it and data analytics do not have to code. Suggest so some best projects on data analytics. Uh, well, if you are working as a data analyst, you can work on the data set of Amazon, Flipkart, or any other. Like, just try to implement a big data set, like as I implemented for Netflix. If you are implementing a large number of data set, it's a good practice because you are having 
tons of data you are cleaning it you are transforming it okay and you are modeling it and afterwards you are creating visuals of that so you can just identify errors whatever your errors you are getting you can just solve it because you are having a large number of data okay how can i get entry in data analysis as a fresher like to start as an sql developer or python developer uh, well we can say as if you are ready to code okay there are tons of people out there who are not ready to code a sql developer or python developer so exactly i can prefer you to go for python developer as because as i mentioned already our session was for data analysis and python okay so if if you need to work as an ai engineer also you can definitely work with python instead of sql server because sql server stucks you within the whatever your server is and you can just create data and import from the sql server in python it's not like that you can just manipulate data import data export data whatever okay and definitely you can work on ai as well okay so preferable is work on python developer is dsa compulsory for data analyst no it's not like you can say you just need to know basic function uh, functions of dsa like basic algorithms what you can say is okay data analysis core role is to create analysis exactly what as i already so, uh, shown to you everybody like power bi software or tableau whatever so you can just create analysis of your data it's like that it's not like you need to create algorithms and all that stuff okay how do you handle missing data in the data sets what does that exactly means like missing in the sense it can the data can be duplicated so you can just handle that part into the cleaning method if you are if you are having the missing data set there is a part in uh, excel which can help you like sort the missing data set as we are having a part of like filtering the data right so in that filter data if your data is missing we can just remove that data and add the other one like what i can say is <clears throat> where the missing data is there you can just put over there as zero okay you can just add over zero and your like all the errors will be sorted out no issues okay may i know how to get free certification course in data analytics uh well if i don't know about free certifications but i am a microsoft certified data analyst which i have already paid like something around random amount to the microsoft to get the certification because i need to certify as a uh, like fully data analyst that's my background is from data analyst so i need to certify for that i am aids final year student after knowing how to work on power bi and excel can i get a good job with good package yeah definitely you can get a good job and good package as well it's not like only working with power bi and excel but you need to know how the python works how ai works so you can definitely integrate ai into your analysis as we already discussed well uh just a second if you need i have created a roadmap for everyone i'll just share it just give me a minute Well, I will just tell you the roadmap. You can just note it down. Okay. So this roadmap is for ninety days. As I previously discussed about ninety days, you can definitely achieve your goal within ninety days. So in month one, what you can do is master Excel. Okay. As we started with Excel because our session was for a data analysis. So first step to start with data analysis is Excel. So let's start with Excel for one month. okay in that one month you need to like do whatever excel uh, part is done like manipulation uh, data cleaning analysis in excel okay after that static basics like concept like mean medium standard deviation okay like as i already explained about sum and proper function like formulas so you can definitely master that okay 
in month to data access and manipulations okay which comes under sql and python development so you need to learn basic queries to retrieve and manage data stored in relation database okay relational database after that you can just work on python language like starting with basic syntax data structures and libraries like pandas numpy for data analysis <clears throat> okay as i mentioned data structures so at the end you just need to use simple to simple data structures as you need to manipulate the data at the end you need to obviously add some random uh, algorithms for it okay and at the last month what you can do is data visualizations and communications so data visualization tools is tableau and power bi okay choose a platform whatever you to you want to create clear in, uh, insights of data visualizations and after that you need to improve your communication skills like practice presenting or finding effectively like if you are presenting something analysis to your client your company whatever so you need to be competent about your analysis like it's not going in the wrong way your trend is like if your analysis is correct then you can definitely approach it okay after that yeah the roadmap is created so throughout this 90 days build a portfolio like as i said at least create five projects you can use the data set from kaggle okay after that practice on that data set again and then you can start as a freelancer or ask whatever like small companies are having data set you can work on that okay because of recession some of us are facing delay in career start in it will there be any better chance if we we'll learn this field will it's going to be opportunity if i clear this point <clears throat> and certified data analyst i can say data analyst and ai is going to make a hype for sure if you are pursuing a, a career in data analyst and ai definitely your chances are high rather than other people out there because every a single uh, what i can say is every small company is now finding for a data analyst who can manage their an data and analyze it like where the company is going wrong where the company is finding loss where the company can be in profit within next few months okay so this can be a better option for you after that so how do how data analysis is useful in iot well uh, if if we see that you are having hardware parts like iot uh, usually consists of hardware parts if you are having like data uh, hardware part is uh, collecting some uh, sort of data okay and you need to monitor it in real time so definitely data analysis can help you okay to predict to analyze the trend to analyze whatever your like iot based systems are okay so why python developers to do compulsory for why this is not java developer well i cannot say about java developer because i can't because i am the core developer of python also so i have not used java language for, till now sir so there is some data analytics projects which are expecting from product based companies so there is some data analytics projects as i already said if uh, no uh, means i mean no company is going to provide you data set like if you are not employee of that nobody is going to provide you data set for that if you need to work in amazon so at the end you can just go on kaggle website and find a data set for amazon it will definitely help you out if you are going on kaggle and searching for amazon it will give whatever your month's data you want and you can just create your data set means import that data set work on that and definitely apply to amazon and tell them that i have created a project on amazon and this is my analysis and definitely you can just uh, modify your resume according to the job description this is the main thing you can do okay what is the basic road map for fresher as i already discussed the road map i will definitely share a road map to you after this session 
I will just share that roadmap. What things can be actually into you, like the business problems, use cases. Questions to be asked in interview is like, what analysis can you make? Can you make trends? Can you like, what I can say is, can you just, uh, we are having a data set and you are managing it. So can you identify the trends within the past six months past one month, whatever. Okay. And according to that trend, can you predict the future? Okay. So some, uh, some sort of questions can be asked to you. And if you are dealing with Python language also, then that can be quite tricky because while if you're dealing with Python, then they can ask you Python syntax, data structures, like obviously libraries also, because while working on data analysis project and Python development, uh, they can definitely ask you about Python because if you are in the core of Python and visuals can be created uh, because of Power BI or Tableau, it's a normal, but if you are working as a Python developer also, then definitely they can ask syntax, data structures and all that. Okay. So you need to deal with that stuff also. Uh, data analytics and AI combination works once can you say, well, uh, what I can say is if you want to create analysis, as I already said, if you are not having data, okay, you need to manipulate your data. You need to add, you need to sort, whatever in Excel you can do, but instead of Excel, you need to use Python language. Okay. In that you can automate things. Okay. This can be automated into Python in Python. After automating things, you can definitely work as an AI and integrate that into visuals. Do you understand what exactly I do I mean? Okay. After integrating that visuals, you can definitely work on analysis of how the trend will be gone. It's upward or downward, whatever. Like from past six months, it's going upward or downward. Okay. And in AI, you it's not just in AI. You can use machine learning concepts also because it's just an uh name of AI, but in AI, there are many like languages into it, like generative AI, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks. Okay. It will be great if you show the roadmap. I have wrote it down, but we'll get perfect knowledge of it. Yeah, definitely. I will just share you the roadmap. Don't worry about that because right now, in my laptop, I'm not having that. It's on other device. I will definitely share it. Don't worry about it. Can you repeat what we are saying about Amazon product? Well, if you need to work on Amazon product, okay. And you're not having any data set. So you can definitely serve on Kaggle. Just go over there, search for Amazon data set. It will definitely give you data set for Amazon. Okay. After that, you when you're having the data set of Amazon, then work on it. Okay. Whatever you're cleaning, you're transforming, then creating visuals after creating visuals, be confident that your visuals are like not other than others. Like it's not same. What I can say is let's make uh, let's break down it. Okay. If you are working on Amazon project after working on Amazon project, you definitely can apply to the Amazon. Okay. After applying Amazon, make sure you read that job description for data analyst. Okay. After reading the description, create a resume according to that. Okay. As I have been shortlisted for Amazon for data analyst, as I use this trick, like creating a resume for Amazon after reading the job description. Okay. And the uh, the projects they have been demanded. I created the same projects. Like obviously you can surf on the internet, how, which projects can be done for Amazon and all that stuff. Okay. After that, creating projects, several projects and the same job, uh, job description into my resume that helped me got a job, but definitely it was not a job, but internship. Okay. 
So this can be a good practice if you want to work in top MNC. Okay. Oops concept. It's not that like you need to learn every steps and all, but at the end you need to just know about Oops concept. You just need to have hands on on that concept because in future you might need it because as data analyst, I can say you can just achieve data analyst plus data science career also. It can expand you. Okay. Can we get recording of today's session? I can't guarantee you that right now. To discuss any merging tools or technology that are changing lines of the data. Uh, discuss any merging tools. What does that mean exactly? I did not understand. How to learn Python for AI? Well, definitely you can choose a course for Python development. Okay. There are tons of course over there and you just need to like uh, learn about Python syntax, data structures, libraries like pandas, numpies, sklearn. Okay. This will help you a lot. How can I be a data engineer after I get one to experience data analyst or business analyst? I don't know right now about the data engineer roadmap, but at the end, I can just tell you business analyst and data analyst. Okay. So for now, as we have discussed for data analyst roadmap, business analyst. So what does that business analyst do? So you are the manager of data analyst person. Data analyst person is managing your analysis. He's showing whatever your trends are going on and business analyst create a PPT. He visualize more stuff. He creates, he analyzes the market whole, whatever is going on the world. He analyzes everything and present it to the client or whatever the company is. That's how can, uh, that's how we can deal with data analyst and business analyst. So for now I can just not talk with data engineer as because I'm not at that the moment. Okay. Certification for uh, freshers. So you can definitely get a Microsoft certification means you can get, uh, I can say is you're getting some kind of uh, batch from Amazon, uh, Microsoft. Okay. You can just achieve that batch from Microsoft uh, website. Also, you can just search for data analyst microsoft okay just a second my python only well if you're dealing with ai and data analysis so why do you need java or javascript if your field is for ai then why do you need java or javascript if you need to automate things basically python and Java, if you compare both language, Java is got a tough language rather than Python. Just understand this thing. If you are learning Java, it will take you like uh, six months around six. I will just assume six months. If you are learning Python, you will definitely cover it within two or three months. Then why to work hard if you, uh, if you are working a smart work, right? So I'll definitely prefer go for Python language. cloud knowledge required. You can definitely work for cloud uh, for SQL server. If you are familiar with SQL, all the like queries, retrieve, manage data stored into relational database. So definitely some kind of knowledge is required for cloud as in the sense of SQL. So it can be handy for you. Can you share your resume for reference? For sure. I can share my resume. You can search my name on LinkedIn. Huge was I can obviously sharing my profile link for you as yeah sorry just a second i'll just share share it from here Okay, here is the link which I'm providing you.
Can we just see the link I've provided? Okay. Does Python comes under data analysis or data science? It comes in both. Okay. It comes in both. It doesn't matter like you need to work on data analysis or data science. It's the priority. Like Python is the main language between both of them. Okay. Can freshers get data analyst role right from the start? Yes, definitely. If you are having your projects worth, definitely you are getting shortlisted for data analysis as fresher. As I have experienced the same thing while I was like learning the data analysis course, uh, I was like, am I getting to get a job or else what I can say is, am I getting any offers from the company like as a fresher? But at the end, I'm having worth it project and definitely I got shortlisted like 10 to 12 companies and as a fresher. Okay. I understand that package was quite less at starting because I did not have uh, like uh, company knowledge at the time. But if I'm learning more into the field of data analysis, then I can expect a salary between 10 LPA to 15 LPA as a fresher for sure. Okay. Okay then. Questions are over. So let me know if you are having any more questions. Send a link for link LinkedIn. I have already sent it. Can you just check in the chat? Okay, just a second. Okay, I have shared the link. As to be honest, my LinkedIn platform was permanently restricted and I lost my 5000 plus community. And from 4th of April, I created my new account and which I started to grow. Okay, to be, to be honest, I really like lost my 5000 plus community and I was like having a nightmare. I was like, no, my all international clients are gone. But at the end, what I can say is I started to grow my new account. So this is my uh, link for my new account. Okay. So you can definitely go and add me. I'm going to share everything on LinkedIn as I'm having the international client. So I need to be active on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is a platform where you can get any opportunity you have. Like you need to apply for data analyst role. You can definitely go over there, search for a job for data analyst fresher. Definitely you are getting shortlisted from there because if you are having resume worth it, your projects are worth it and your LinkedIn profile is optimized, then no one can stop you, uh, stop you from getting a job into it. It's my personal experience for that. Can you get a job of machine learning analyst as a fresher? Machine learning analyst in the sense what? Can you just justify it? What are the projects to be done by fresher for data analyst role? So well, you can just predict sales report as a fresher. You can just uh, predict sales report as in the sense uh, if you are having a data set of e-commerce website. So you can predict sales like in which country your sales is more. Okay. Somehow like that. After all. Uh, so this some if possible provide some links, which links do you need exactly. Can you just justify it and can you just justify machine learning analyst exactly what do you mean? As I'm going to share my other screen over here, just a second. I'll share how my LinkedIn is optimized. As I'm getting tons of replies over here. Okay. Is my screen visible? Okay, then. Okay. So, 
this is my LinkedIn platform. For sure, within a day, I am getting 25,000 plus impression on my post. Do you understand what exactly that means? Okay. If you are optimizing your LinkedIn platform, this is my growth. As I already mentioned that I lost my original account and I started to grow this account from April the 4th, 2024. You can definitely check it over here. See, zero impression, zero impression, zero impression. Nothing was uh, nothing was that on this account. It's a new new account, I can say. Okay. On 4th April, I got impression of 212. Like I posted a random post over there. I got impression of 212. So I know the timing of when to post, whom to target, what we can target, what exactly what we can do is. Okay. So on second day, I got impression of 2544, like random. Okay. So according to the previous day, my graph was a bit high. Okay. After that, on 6th April, that means yesterday, I got impressions of 12,000 plus. That's a huge amount I can see. Okay. As you can see, 232 plus comments. Do I understand? Like, this is the growth of LinkedIn. If you are willing to connect me on LinkedIn, I can definitely help you grow your LinkedIn platform. And this is my resume template. You can just go on my LinkedIn platform, LinkedIn profile, I guess. Just go and add your email address away. Team will definitely send you my template for this resume we will definitely get it no issues so this resume got me shortlisted into microsoft and amazon as a data analyst internship okay okay so do you have any more questions let me know if you are having any more questions Your certificates will be sent to you soon. Like I learned machine learning, NLP, computer vision. So if you are learning NLP, machine learning concepts, definitely data analysis can help you because machine, as I already mentioned that right, AI is helping machine learning. Oh, sorry, AI is helping data analyst. Okay. Okay. Uh, like your certificates will be given within two working days. Okay, no issues. After that, we'll uh, come back to the point. Machine learning and data analysis. If this is the combination, what exactly data analysis is doing is predict whatever data you are having. But if you are using machine learning concept, you can predict the future of analysis. Okay, that means if you are having machine learning knowledge and NLP language. Okay, whatever. If you are doing master in machine learning plus data analysis, so definitely you can uh, like definitely you can like uh, predict the future of analysis. Okay, not only uh, in the form of Excel, you can definitely work on the real time uh, projects, real time data using machine learning. That's what I can say. Okay, if you get job in data analysis, you can definitely switch. Yes, because if you are having knowledge into data analysis plus AI, I'm not saying into just data analysis, but if you are switching, but you also need to have uh, knowledge regarding AI ML. You just can't switch between both of them. As I can say, you can switch, but you just have need to core uh, like like uh, what I can say is. Core, core uh, sorry, you should have core knowledge about AI, not ML. If you are having, definitely you can switch it, no issues. What does it exactly mean? Like this webinar was for data analysis and AI. Okay. So do you have any more questions?
okay then guys we need to end over here it's nice to meet up with you okay if you have any doubts you can definitely uh okay contact code class for it and i prefer you can just do internship into cloud class they will definitely help you out in the field of data analyst and ai because they are having expertise into it definitely if you are willing to do internship into it i will say yes for it okay guys then you can definitely leave now have a great day